not all the time do people get into relationships because of love. Yeah, very true. Yes, most of the time it's because of lust. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a difference between lust and love. Lust doesn't last. Last is not forever, unfortunately. Welcome to my channel and today I have a very beautiful person oh, in my channel. Oh God. Skin K in conjunction with Joy. Ha. Yeah. So we are talking about Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Should there be love just before Valentine's Day, or there should they should there be love after Valentine's Day? Because uh, so many love die after Valentine's Day. So many relationships break before Valentine's Day. Is it that people fear responsibilities or? Uh, is it always fake love or what happens? So we will have our views from her and I'll give from my side too. Ladies first. Yes, and guys, please feel free to drop your comments on the comment below and make sure you share this video with your friend. Yeah, and subscribe to the channel King K and hit that notification bell. Ding ding. Papa. Papa. Kuba, but it's fine. This Valentine's Day, specifically this month, how do you how do you feel about Valentine's? How how should things be done? Should they be a more uh, more extraordinary than usual, or should they should should it be just a normal thing? Love is love, either before or after Valentine's. The reason why it's specifically outdated, like it's marked on the calendar that it's a valentine's day that means it's a special day the only days that are marked on the calendar are the special days okay. but it's a special day so this means that we have to to be present for that moment it's just like when we celebrate any other any other special day, either a Christian day or a Jamaguri or a national day. Yeah, all those celebrations, they're special. So that means at that day is a special day. That's the only day you can go extreme. That's the day you can go, like, you can go an extra mile for the ones you love. Be it your family members, your extended family members, your loved one. <laughs> Yeah, your wife, your husband, everyone. That day is the day you're allowed to put on a red dress, a red tie, a red bow tie. Not maroon, please. Red. This is red. <laughs> this is Men are color blind. According to me, this is red. <laughs> <laughs> so this according, is yellow. <laughs> this one is jungle green. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happens, but please drop on the comments. Is it true that men are colorblind? Apparently, this is red and this is jungle green. <laughs> I feel like uh, so many people uh, exaggerate the, uh, this 14th, uh, 14th of February because just uh, just like you say, and I bet to differ with that because I should love myself first each and every day on an equal manner, right? I should love my partner, my wife, my girlfriend, my friend, my parents, equally, each and every day. There's no specific day that says uh, on 14th I should love you a hundred, a hundred times, and uh, on 15th. No, it's should, not about. Just, uh, just wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And, and on on 15th, oh, uh, it yeah. should uh, it should uh, uh, decrease <laughs> down to 20 percent, right? If I should no. buy you a teddy bear, for example, I should I should be able and to buy I should be able to buy for you a teddy bear on twentieth uh, October, twentieth January. But I don't really understand what's so special about this for you. It's like for for okay. Let me speak on my behalf as a lady. Yeah, yes. you are representing. <laughs> 
oh let me let me let me straighten my cow so yeah valentine's is not about showing that you love me more you tell me all the time you tell your parents anyone else that you love them yes you tell them but that day is a day that you express like you go to an extra night it's just like when your friends decide to get, give you a birthday party a surprise birthday party it doesn't mean that on that day they love you more it's just that they are showing you a token of love out of what they have they have for you they have to put it into action because that's your special day okay. so for valentine's it's a special day because you have to show that love you've been saying okay you've been proving it in different ways but on that day everyone has to come together and prove to each other not necessarily prove, but that just show it's a way of uh, communion like we commune with each other in a different in a different atmosphere in a different rate mm -hmm. you just show how much you appreciate the person it's like thank you for being into my life and you've done this to me i have i have this and this and this and it's because of you and i thank god for that yeah it's just a token of appreciation on that day okay yes we'll ask a question on behalf of my brothers oh my god it's <laughs> about to go down and uh, i'll also ask you the same question on on behalf of your sisters so what happens to those ladies that have more than one partner on this specific day you are my lady and uh, for instance you have more than three i am your partner but you have other four so you are five so what happens when i tell you that i want to spend this day with you just you and the same other the the other four guys have also booked you for that day what will you do i don't know about what that. will they do what will they do i believe you can't have two masters at one time mm -hmm. you have to give up someone you that is being selfish that is being self-centered that is being greedy mm -hmm. i'll say i'll say it greedy it's greedy it's not being fair because you have a, you had a chance of being truthful you had a chance of being yourself with one person, but you went to extreme. You know, when you have different people, that means you have different characters at the same time. Yeah. yeah. So that means you you are struggling. That means you have to strain yourself. You have to stretch yourself, which is not good. That is not being loving to yourself. That means, first of all, you don't appreciate yourself. And the second thing, you don't appreciate your background or your picture like how you portray yourself that is not good you don't have to be greedy for you to get something you can be true you can be sincere things work out you have one person you don't have to do all that it's wrong actually it's kind of demolishing the names of us ladies which is not good okay some of us stand by our words some of us stand by what we believe in and when we see this and then it's put out there like all ladies do it we feel frustrated it is not good it's a bad picture for everyone and we are doing our best just to write it off it's not good when you make up when someone else comes to clear your mess and you're there you're present and you're just enjoying the the view it's not good Boy, like, dude, unajipenda jo, haujipendi? Like, don't you even have, like, hauna? <laughs> it's, it's bad, but if you think that's all you need, okay, some of them do it because maybe they think it's the only way they can sustain themselves. They have genuine reasons. But please, as you do that, let it be known that you have a plan on how you're going to i don't know how you're going to divide yourself to all these men because again you don't need a you don't need a man for you to stand so, so it is it is a one woman for one man yes one one yes a hundred love percent. god did not make two eves he made one eve hey uh, I have noticed that towards 14, towards Valentine, so many relationships break up. So many relationships break up. Because the, most of the relationships, I'm sorry to say this, 
but most of the relationships are made because of the materialistic things. Oh. So when the cash runs out or the gifts run out, <laughs> <laughs> so and the way girls okay it's not it's not bad but there's a way girls we love to be spoiled we love to be spoiled to be demolished <laughs> no <laughs> they're not being demolished like we like to be pampered but when these things come to an end and that that was the foundation of your relationship that means your relationship is over so you don't have a common ground mm-hmm. that's not how relationships are supposed to work relationships are supposed to be based on genuine reasons and genuine feelings. Okay. What do you think about it? I feel like uh, when you started dating, one of you was not so genuine about it. Yeah. And uh, so many relationships nowadays start for people falling in love. One, because of uh, material things. Because I saw you were so beautiful and you were so calm, cute, you were there. I, did, I wasn't so genuine about you. I loved your appearance. I loved your, your curves. I loved how you smiled, how you walk. But when that comes to, let, let's say, an end, let's say I love you because of how you, you walk or how, about how you, 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 you dress. But then, uh, on the on the other day, I came uh, because you're not this only smart each and every day. Some today you be smart, smartly dressed, and that's how I loved you. You dress so well. But then when I meet with you tomorrow, you on that day you are so relaxed that you are off day. You have this uh, torn socks or torn uh, shorts, and you are just like feel free. Then I was like. Is she the person that I fell in love with? Then I'll be frustrated because I want you to be always smart. You see? So uh, that's when uh, things will come from 100 to 0%. You see? Uh, but then if I love you because of your smile, tomorrow will be so sad. Today, to, so sad huh? Tomorrow you'll be have frowned. Then I will be like, wait. Is she the same person that I love? Because I'm not seeing your smile. I'm not seeing that uh, your jovial face. So that that's not a very genuine love. That's why uh, people date for a month, two weeks, then it's over. So it is not good. And uh, more most of all that kills our relationship is because um, you are more into material things and less of genuine love. Yeah. Okay. As 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 you were explaining that, it came into my mind that not all the time do people get into relationships because of love. Yeah. Very true. Yes. Most of the time it's because of lust. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a difference between lust and love. Lust doesn't last. <laughs> lust is not Unfortunately. forever. Unfortunately. Last but not last. Yeah, and it's it it comes to an end, like just the way it had a beginning. It comes to an end. But love, love is eternal. Love is genuine. Love is happiness. Love is sadness. Love is also you're ready to embrace that person, be it the situation they're in, not because of what you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I feel like sometimes it's because of the reward that comes from lust. Yes, the, the reward that comes with lust. Because um, once that, that lust you had for someone is over, you, you lose interest. And it's not good. And uh, most of the time, that's uh, when we get into... I believe that one is a situation scene. Because... I will love you because you are smart. You are very well covered. Back, back at back of my mind, I'll be, I love you because you are smart. Then at the back of my mind, uh, I know what I want. That's when uh, you explain it as last, right? But after I have, uh, I have achieved the goal that I had at the back of my mind, then 
the last then turns into something else. The, the early start is treating you and see you as nobody. And uh, it will be a very toxic relationship. Yeah. Situationship. Situationship. Relationship. I hope we didn't cover ourselves from violence to something else, but I believe we are passing a message out there. So don't expose yourself into some things that you don't want, because nowadays I don't believe in wasting time. If I can't be with you, let me be myself. Because a uh, love or a relationship is a is a two way is a two way thing for two people. I can't be giving a hundred percent while you are just sitting there waiting to be for me to do everything. Waiting to uh, you can't make decision. We have to sit down and uh, have a foundation somewhere about. Yeah, and as as he has said, let, let's just not present ourselves because we want to impress someone. Let's be true. Let's be let's be genuine with each other. Let's just present ourselves the way we are. Because if someone is not ready to accept you for who you are, that means that person does not respect. Like if that, that someone does not accept you for who you are, that means that person does not respect you. That means that person wants you to go low, of which you're not, you're not cheap. We are all not cheap. Please raise your standards, raise your goal, raise your crown, raise your heads. Work with your head held high. You're, you're, you're royalty. Remember, you're from of the kingdom. You're one of a kind, like no one. Imagine there's no photocopy of you, but you can have a photocopy of words. There's no photocopy of who you are. You're the original and the only one who exists. So as you walk, just walk in full faith, knowing that, oh my God, hallelujah, this is me. No one is there who is like me. They can try to be like me, but there's only one me. Because God did not create two joys. God did not create two king kings. He created one. So what walk they are proud of yourself. Walk walk like tomorrow is not coming. Like just be you, be happy, express yourself, be ready to talk, but don't ever, don't ever let anyone look down on you or just make you feel as if you don't belong. The Bible says that do not let anyone look down on you because you're young. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are youths, we understand our goals, and we understand where we are going. So in as much as we have the guidelines of this life, we have to live it. We have to bring them to life because we have life in us. Because the word and Christ who came by grace, not by law, is alive in us. So be proud of who you are and be proud of who you're becoming. Because either way, you're loved. You're accepted, you're chosen, and you are made for a great purpose and a great call. Love yourself. And Valentine is coming. <laughs> Where is your boyfriend? Where will you be? <laughs> so take care until next time. Boom. Treat your family, treat yourself, treat your anyone, anyone who's close to you. Let them get to feel the love. Let them get to experience you in a whole different way, okay? So we love you guys and we hope that we we meet in the next video and have a lovely day. If you don't have uh, someone to take you somewhere, watch your movie, do something. <laughs> you won't die until next time. Till we meet again. Bye. <laughs>